Egyptian blue and its chemical relatives are one of the oldest, maybe even the oldest chemical pigments synthesized by mankind and it maintained its nice blue color even after thousands of years, which means it's highly stable. And such stable pigments are of high interest for nowadays research and potentially even for biomedical applications. We are developing new solutions for the most pressing clinical needs. These solutions are materials-based and one of them is the project on Egyptian blue where Robert is finding new applications for an old pigment in biomedicine. We developed a synthesis approach to create such Egyptian blue compounds in a very defined chemical manner and we ended up with very nice colorful pigments. Such pigments hold great promise for future applications, for example, uh, in the biomedical field as optical contrast agents. Egyptian blue was found to fluorescent in the near infrared, an interesting wavelength region letting light penetrate tissue most efficiently. This means if you shine light to it, it interacts with the light and it sends back a fraction of it, but it was a different kind of wavelength, like a different color. And this color is not visible to the human eye, but you can capture it with specific cameras and equipment. The blue, of course, it's something that represents the skies, and the interesting part is it shines back and it shines like little stars. And manipulating it, I felt like I'm creating little cosmos. I'm like traveling in, in space and moving things around. As part of the exhibition, Data Alchemy, I'm presenting a work that was being done together with the video artist Markus Nebe and Dr. Uh, Robert Nisler. The work is uh, an object that has three different paintings. They are very special rice paper that was being painted with many layers of uh, the Egyptian blue pigment and it's been projected, a video being taken at uh, the lab here at the ETH of manipulating this different pigment and with this is kind of trying to create a little human-made cosmos, so it's like we're painting a universe. So in my practice I'm working a lot in um, collaboration with uh, research institution and I'm always kind of fascinated to learn the motivation behind their work and to be inspired from that and to see how novel research happening those days can be resonate and reflect in artistic practice and not only illustrate uh, what right now is being done in science or in research, but rather to take it and to engage in a deeper conversation that bring uh, critical, I think, questions to our society today.